Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all feeling strong. Now in this vlog I'm just going to give you a quick update on some more equipment that has arrived in the post and some of it has just arrived like two minutes ago. So uh, I'll be showing you that as well. So in this vlog it's just an update on, uh, well if you're new to my channel I am doing the coast to coast from St Bees to Robin Hood's Bay in September 2020. That's this year of course if you're watching it in uh, 2020. And I'll be wild camping the coast to coast all the way. Well, I hope to do all the way. It is a little bit ambitious, but I am hoping to wild camp all the way. That's about 14 nights wild camping. And bear in mind that I've only ever done one wild camp so far. So this is all kind of new to me and I'm getting all the advice from you guys uh, to help me along the way with the equipment and just how to go about uh, wild camping, solo wild camping. So since I decided to do the coast to coast last year, um, I've been collecting advice and watching your uh, reviews and uh, recommendations for gear and uh, how to go about this whole wild camping and the uh, coast to coast so I really appreciate all your advice and hope you're going to stay with me on this journey. So if that's of any interest to you if you're new to my channel uh, you might want to consider subscribing to get updates on my weekly vlogs. I upload a vlog every week um, and you could also offer me some advice if you have done the coast to coast or you are an experienced uh, solo wild camper. So like I say in this vlog I'm going to show you the new equipment that has arrived and it's just about completing my ultralight backpacking equipment that I'm going to need to do the coast to coast. So the new backpack has arrived and it's the Osprey Exos 58 ultralight. Uh, emphasis on ultra light it really is light and that was what really attracted me to it and of course Osprey which do amazing backpacks. I did have this was my other backpack which I thought I thought this one was going to do me and this is the Osprey Hike Light 32 I think it's the 32 and when I got this I thought it was massive but it's a great backpack really well built and again very lightweight but not big enough so we have the uh, Osprey Exos 58 and it feels really strong and robust and as I say very lightweight and it's got all sorts of lashing points all over it and it's really well thought through. This piece at the top comes off if you don't want to carry as much. It's a great backpack and I think I'm going to be really happy with it because it wasn't cheap. This was uh, 90 quid, this cost me 90 quid on Amazon but uh, it looks and feels really good. It's even got a place for your walking pole there. They've really thought it through and uh, it was off the back of your advice. So this backpack, the Exos 58, has got to hold everything of course to take nearly 200 miles across the country. And it's supposed to be the lightest, most comfortable and uh, well-made lightweight backpack you can get and uh, only time will tell if that is true. So let me just show you this little gadget that uh, my friend Andrew told me about. Let me just get hold of it here. What it is, it's simply a piece of bungee cord and you just double it over and then he said you just twist it like that and what we're creating is a mini washing line to hang your smalls on. Do people still call them smalls? I'm not sure they do. But anyway, the genius is that uh, we put the gear in between the twists and then you don't need pegs. I think that's a great tip so thank you Andrew for that. If you've got any tips to help me along the way, little simple things like that I think are, are amazing. Uh, tiny little uh, washing line, excellent, I'm going to need that. Now when I did my first solo wild camp I used a inflatable sleep mat and um, you guys did say to me that I would instantly regret the one that I bought. Now I can't even remember what it was called but it was only about 30 quid and uh, the comments when I showed it you guys he said that I would instantly regret it. Uh, I instantly regretted it. It did not offer any heat uh, loss protection, if you can say it that way, uh, from the ground below. I could feel the heat just draining out of my body and it was very uncomfortable and very narrow. So uh, yeah, instant regret. So this time round I have gone for the uh, the Thermarest Z-Lite and it's the one with the foil, well not foil, but the reflective coating and I assume that that reflective uh, coating is facing up and reflecting the heat back into my body which is what I need and that's what I didn't get with the other one and also the reason I've gone for this is you don't have to inflate it, you just bang it straight down the floor you can't puncture it, it's so hard wearing 
folds up really quickly so the packing down will be uh, a lot faster. So that's what I've gone for and I uh, hope I haven't made a mistake there. It does go into my backpack kind of like that down the back, it's only that thin and uh, or you can obviously have it on the outside like that. So let me know did I make a good choice with this uh, sleep mat? Uh, will it be warm enough to give me a good night's sleep? Subscribe to find out because I will be testing all this new equipment in the coming months and I've got some great locations that I'll be going to to test it out on the run up to my coast to coast. Now food, let's talk about food. I haven't done any cooking on any of my camping out. Remember camping is a kind of a new thing for me. The last time I really did any major camping I was in the boys brigade so uh, yeah long long time ago. So I haven't done any cooking on any of these uh, little uh, trips that I've been doing so that's going to be an interesting thing I'm really looking forward to that so what am I going to cook my food in well it's a good question that you ask there so the cook set that I went for is the GSI Pinnacle Duelist not the soloist and I know what you're thinking well you're doing solo while camping why do you need the duelist well my lass is going to be coming with me on a few of these run-up uh, just one night as uh, my lass is going to join me so I do need uh, two sets of equipment and uh, the duelist comes in this uh, great little uh, sort of bag here with a pull top but you can actually put water in that and a lot of people advise that you use it as a to wash up to wash your gear up in when you're finished but it does hold water so I suppose you could go down to the stream and collect water with it as well so a uh, great little idea that great design so it comes in that so inside the actual cook pot there's a, a cup with a nice little uh, heat protection part there um, just to put your coffee in or whatever you're drinking, a bit of soup. Has a little lid that goes on top there, just snaps on. A breather hole there and a notch out there, so you can just drink like this. <laughs> it's the first time I've had a look at them myself, so yeah, that'll work really well. And um, you get, you also get a foldable spork. Nice foldable spork, that'll do for me. I know you can get better ones, people say titanium, but let's not run before we can walk. That will probably do for me. And uh, like I say, I've got the duelist, so this is times two. So you also get a bowl and that nests in. There's some uh, measurements, some increments there. And that just nests into there nicely. And of course the, the spork will just go in there. And that's it, job done. And because um, I got the duelist, it's dual, you get two. So I've got two of them, one for me and one for my last. So that goes like that, just on top of each other. And then of course we've got the pot that goes on the stove and that's got uh, measurement increments down the inside as well. And you can see them on the outside, the other way around and it uh, feels nice and sturdy, nice little handle on it. There was one very similar to it and it kind of overbalanced when you put the handle on. This one doesn't so much. And it's got a great lid on it with a straining holes so you can strain your water off. So yeah, well thought through and uh, this is the one that I've gone for. Hope I don't regret it. And like I say, because uh, it's the duelist, you get two of these, they nest straight in there on top of each other and then lid on, squeeze that in, and that's it, all locked in, brilliant. So that's the cook set that I went for, let me know what you think, have you used the uh, Soloist, the Duelist, uh, what do you think of it, I think it's going to be fine for me. Oh and of course it all goes inside this little jacket there, there we go. Looks like a, a 1970s immersion eater with its little jacket around it. <laughs> now I did say that some of the things that uh, I'm showing you today have just arrived and this is what has just arrived literally uh, two minutes before I started this vlog. I was just about to do it so it's a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be and it's, uh, I'm sure you already know, it's my stove. This has just come just now. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Yeah, so it comes in a nice plastic box which looks great. I think I'll use that. And here is the uh, the stove. This is the one that I went for because I thought you'd get a 
bit of a, a bigger spread so it's not toppling over if it was a little bit uneven. I've seen these used by you guys watching your channels, your fantastic videos, your fantastic vlogs. And that's it there. And uh, you control the power of the uh, flame with this controller here. And that all goes onto a, uh, a gas bottle like that. I don't know how long these things last. This is a bit big. I actually thought it was gonna be smaller. <laughs> it's massive. I won't be bringing one this big with me, I hope. Uh, but there you go, that's my stove. I'm really excited to use that. And it folds up great. It's a really well made. I think I have chosen well. You let me know in the comments section below. Um, is this a great little stove? Have you, have you used one? Is it gonna do me for the coast to coast? And it's all very lightweight. So I think I've almost completed my uh, ultra lightweight backpack, which will all go into the uh, Osprey Exos 58 hopefully. So I just wanted to update you on my coast to coast journey and it's all coming together nicely. I have some great locations that I will be testing out all this new gear um, around and about the coast to coast uh, leading up to my coast to coast and uh, that will give me a taste of what's to come for the 200 miles and I really can't wait to get out there now. I think the only way to find out what other things uh, I need, the little tiny things that I need, and maybe some of the things that I've got that just don't work for me. Uh, I think the only way to get there now is to get out there and just really get on with it. So I'd just like to say thank you for all your comments on my previous vlogs, and uh, please comment on this vlog. Let me know what you think of the gear that I've got so far. And uh, I can't do this without you. I couldn't have got this far without you. So what an amazing group of people that I found here on YouTube, amazing community, and I couldn't do it without you. And uh, thank you, Andrew, for the uh, little tip on the uh, bungee mini, <laughs> mini washing line for hanging smalls on. So we still have the stormy weather here in West Yorkshire and across most of the UK. I can't wait for that to go away. Hence the indoor vlog. You just couldn't go out in it again. So that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a like and consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week, so if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.